Yeah, we're pretty laid back here. Hey guys, and we actually haven't been on a Zoom call in a long time because now that Facebook has the live option, we've just been going live on the team page, but we, we come over here for special occasions. So with that being said, welcome to our Fit and Fierce team call. It is October oh, 17th. Uh, and we are just going to dive right in. We have very special guest Joel Freeman on the call. Um, you got you were in were you in comp? no Pump? You were in Pump. Les Mills Pump. Um, some of you guys may remember that. Some of you newer coaches, I don't know if you had that program or not, but um, you may recognize him from from that. And um, he is the one of the celebrity trainers in the upcoming core divorce program, which I think is going to be the meat of our call uh, tonight. Uh, and I also would love for you to talk about your, um, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? What's the on demand thing we have? BOD exclusives. Um, I know it's, it's been a long week and it's Monday already. So, um, <laughs> I say, you got a long week ahead of you, girlfriend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, because they're awesome. They're really great. And I don't think a lot of people like, I have a hard time finding them on my, on the Roku. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just slow, but, um, I definitely want you to maybe talk about what you do on there too. And, um, do you come out with new, do the trainers come out with new stuff? Like, is there a set time that you come out with bot exclusives? Uh, so for the, the bot exclusives, my two workouts on there, like those were filmed a while back and that was actually, we filmed those actually before, um, before we got really working hardcore into core to force. Um, so they were feeling pretty much, it was like, we filmed those and then we like the next month we got, then we started working on core to force, like, like prod, uh, prod dev. We had been conceptualizing it for a long time. Um, you know, I think, it, look, the bot is, you know, bot is still in beta version at this point. And, you know, I think they're just coming, we're bringing a lot of different stuff to the table and seeing what, you know, throwing spaghetti up on the wall and seeing what sticks the best. Um, I think so, you know, that's where those exclusives kind of came from. And, um, now that we have quarter force coming out, I'm sure we, you guys will be seeing more exclusives based on that program of quarter force. And, and, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we'll see. I, I can't tell you anything right now, but hopefully, you know, the future does hold some different exclusives because I had a great time doing it. That definitely is um, one of the things in my wheelhouse. And so for those of you guys that don't, I guess we could talk about that first if you want. Um, for those guys that don't know those exclusives, I have uh, two vacuuming right now, I think, too. Uh, <laughs> um, Carrie, I don't think I'm admin. I can't... Thanks. Yeah, they need a new vacuum cleaner. That one's really loud. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so my two bods are eight by eight. It's called eight by eight and grab power. And uh, those two workouts are based on my personal workouts, the stuff that I do when I'm in the weight room and working out. So eight by eight is uh, very much uh, superset oriented. That's basically what it is. Four different, uh, four different supersets, uh, eight different, eight exercises, and you're done. There you go. Um, it's it's pretty and it's quick. It's only about I think it's only it's just over 20 minutes, and it will smoke if you if you do it right and put the weight on there. It will smoke you. Um, and that's the type of workout that I like to do. And my wife and I do when we go into the, the, the gym and work out. So that's what that's based on. The grab bag power was, uh, came out of a conversation actually Carl and I had a while. This was like over a year, almost a yeah, year and a half ago at this point where we were, um, looking at some new ideas and different things to do in terms of exclusives. And he's like, what do you think about the, the grab bag? And I was like, I think it's great. I think I could do some fun stuff with it in terms of, uh, but I wanted to make it to where everyone could do it if you don't have the sandbag, right? So um, that's why I designed it to where people can use a dumbbell. Uh, if you saw my social media over the weekend, you can do it with a cat uh, that's willing, um, a small child if they're you know asleep. It really just depends. You know, as long as it's uh, ten pounds or more, you should be able to get a pretty decent workout. So I know sometimes it's a, it's rather hard. The, like the exclusives are rather hard to find on Bod. Um, I. I know like when I go in the office and they have Roku set up for some reason, Roku, the Roku thing looks different than the Apple, um, uh, screen. So the easiest way is you just go and search by trainer and you'll see the under me, there's two of them. And then Jericho, she did a couple as well. So yeah, the Bob, the exclusives are fun. 
So hopefully some more are coming. Yeah, you guys check those out. I really enjoyed those because I like that style. Um, if you're looking for a quick weighted workout, then that is then eight by eight. I will tell people to do that all day long because it is if it's full body, man. So mm -hmm. it does okay. everything. Carrie, were you gonna say something? I was just. Yeah, I, I heard a ding. I was just gonna ask if he was gonna suggest one, and you just did. Oh, okay. see, I read your mind. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, um so we did have jericho on i guess when was that early september um and we thought it'd be kind of cool to get like a guy's perspective of court of force even though you know it's the same program that she talked about but um so we're gonna put you on the spot and i don't know should we ask questions first or should we just have him yeah like yeah, who is this for? And, and by saying that, like, you know, um, do you suggest this as a couple's workout? Sure. Uh, I, so, okay. So on the spot, my opinion and what a guy will say about quarter force, what, what the other creator, how about that? The other creator, you heard Jericho and, and you know, I'm sure you guys got some amazing information from her about uh, what the program does in terms of, uh, you know, empowerment and, and confidence and, um, you know, strength from the inside out. And that's really what this program was about for us is when we designed Quarter Force, we really wanted to make sure that this was a, uh, a total body transformation program, not just a weight loss program. Um, you know, it's, we didn't want people just to be like, hey, you can lose 10 pounds in 30 days. That's not what this is about. Um, that is a great side effect to losing a couple pounds. But, um, you know, like some of the people in our test groups, you know, one girl she lost she lost like she lost like less than five pounds in 30 days, but she went from a size 10 to a size three. So, you know, you tell me what's more important when it, you know, the scale or what size jeans you wear, just saying. So, you know, in terms of, to, that's why we really were adamant about total body transformation, strength from the inside out, uh, making you, everybody feel confident in their abilities. And I think that's, what's great about in, a quarter force in terms of when we design this, we really want to stick in the authentic mixed martial art world and um you know some of the stuff i'll probably be repeating that you already heard from jericho but you know it, it, a lot of people have been asking about what makes what's the differentiators between what makes this program different than anything else that's out there um i think it's gonna be great and definitely to answer your question about the you know uh the couples absolutely i think you're i think we're gonna hopefully crossing my fingers we need more guys in this in, in beach body for god's sake i'm overloaded here i'm not numbered not that's a bad thing it's, i mean it's not a bad way to be a minority and a bunch of women but uh you know i think we will hopefully get more guys to do this because it's not it's not dancey and if you did everybody do the sneak peek hopefully october 3rd you do the sneak peek did it feel dancey at all no Good. Perfect. Yes. The correct answer is no. Hell no. Um, and that's what you know, we really want to stick with because in the authentic mixed martial art world, you don't punch on a beat, guys. You do not hit on an eight count. That is not authentic. And we really want to. So we brought it off the beat. And that in itself, I think, is going to make a big difference of people that might not have ever looked at another program because of that dancey feel, the elements there. Um, Hopefully that will change. And in bringing it off the beat, that also allows every single person doing this program to work and start at their start and work at their own pace, which is huge. And that's why this program is we designed it and we and made it for everyone. So it's not for beginners, it's not for intermediate, it's not for advanced. It's for everybody. You can start at your own level, you start at your own pace, you get to work as fast as you want to, as slow as you need to. You've got the modifier, Jessica, she's gonna take you through all the different modifications that you need, um, and you just keep moving. That's all you have to do, you just have to push, play, and go. So we wanted to make it very simple, very easy, yet extremely effective. That was the goal. Um, what is, What's the nutrition like? Does it compare to the 21 day fix or, or do you know yet? <laughs> well, I, do know. I do know it. I'm, I'm shaking my head. It doesn't compare to anything because, you know, court of force is not like anything. Um, you know, and, and I'm and not putting anybody on a spot, but I'm saying like, so you know, the, the, the word compare gets in related, like gets thrown out a lot right now in turn from the coaching from, from all the coaches. Like I hear it all the time. Everyone's saying, well, what, what do you compare this program to? What do you compare this eating plan to? What is this like? 
And the answer is nothing. Like it really isn't anything. And that's, you know, so because, and the reason I say that is because I want everyone to hear this and really understand this is you guys are as coaches. Your job is to go through this and try and then talk to people about it. Right. So, but keep this in mind, we design core to force, not for coaches. We design core to force for the people that are not moving. We designed it for people who need to move, right? The 260 plus million Americans that are need to get off their asses and start exercising. The millions of people in the, in the world that are not exercising, right? So they don't know what it's like. They don't know, they're not gonna compare it to anything because they haven't done anything yet um, or they haven't done anything in a long time. So that's why it's very unique. And so that's why, it, so I mean, I'm gonna answer your question, I promise, but is, what I ask the coaches, what I ask you guys, is to, when you do this program, when you start this program, whatever day it is, wipe the slate clean on what you have already done in the past and what you think you know um, about mixed martial art programs that have been out there, because I promise you it's different. And in terms of the food program and the, the nutrition guide, I promise you it's different. So wipe the slate clean and look at it through the eyes of somebody who has never worked out before a day in their life and has no idea what portion control is and has no idea what it means to actually have to get off the couch and work and work out and actually have to do fitness. And that in itself is going to make it so you're, it's going to make it so much more relatable for you when you do actually start talking to people. Um, I hope that part makes sense. Yeah, and no, so it makes total sense. And I love that. I love that approach. Like, because the majority of people in America just don't know what eating healthy looks like. And so it'll right. be new to them. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, and in terms of the eating plan, look, you guys, the eating plan is great because this is a higher intensity program. So higher intensity means you've got to feed your body. So you actually get to eat on this program, like food, like real food, like carbs. There's carbs. Yay. Everyone should, <laughs> I said carbs. You guys should be excited. Everyone loves carbs, right? Um, and you know, we wanted to, we worked with the, the nutritionist at Beachbody, uh, Denis and Ani, and the, those two are just freaking geniuses. Uh, they probably forgotten more stuff about nutrition than I've ever known in my life. And we worked with them and made this to where we, we don't want people to just to do this program for 30 days and then go back to the shit that they were already eating and shit that they're already doing. Sorry, said shit three times. Uh, we want people to do this and they feel so good that they keep going, right? It doesn't matter if they keep doing core to force, they start throwing other stuff into it. But the eating plan is very much associated with the daily eating every single day. This is how you eat. Obviously the carb, you know, certain days of the week and certain days in the workout, the weeks and the workout counters, we're going to up your carbs a little bit because we increase the intensity of the workouts. But when you go back to it, it's going to teach at the end of it, people that have never done this type of stuff before are going to know what portion control is and what clean calories look like, right? Not just empty calories. So, and for you guys that have been doing this before, you know that 2000 clean calories is a lot of food. Like that's a lot of food. It, it's not, it, 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 you know, look, a cheeseburger and fries, that's a thousand calories. But if you do 2000 clean calories, it's, it's going to fill you up. And we have, we heard people from both test groups that we've been running um, since January off and on, people are like, oh my God, I thought I was going to be hungry. I can't even eat all this food, right? Like they're, they're forcing themselves to eat, but then they're losing, they're shedding fat and losing inches. And they're like, wow, this really works. So it's all about, we all know this. We know this, but we got to teach people this, that it's real food, clean calories. Um, but it doesn't mean it has to be all kale. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> real food. And so like, even in the eating plan, you guys, we put real food into it. You know, we worked with uh, them and our recipe is the food that Jericho and I love. And I'm probably the bigger of the, the cheater when it comes to food, but we were able to get a really good looking barbecue chicken pizza in there. You're welcome. Uh, and a couple other good stuff in there too. So it's real food. It's food that people are going to actually enjoy eating. Um, that's big. I know that's big for me because the majority of the people I talk to, and I know I can probably speak for a lot of people on this team is moms who have families who have to feed their families at night. And you know, if they're trying to be on this plan or mom and dad are trying to do this plan, they can feed kids barbecue chicken pizza. That's like, that's even better. You can just squeeze but it. You right. also get to eat it too. The mom also gets to eat. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like everyone gets to eat. Yeah. <laughs> we had a couple, we actually had a couple, uh, we have the coach test group happening right now. Uh, we're almost done with the, the second round. They're doing 90 days. So they're, they're almost done with 60 days. And, um, you know, it's a private Facebook group and we, Jericho and I see him, you know, we check in with them every day and see how they're doing. And 
you know, some of them have kids and it's been great seeing those posts. They're doing those posts of how they're making the, you know, they, they're still able to stick with taco Tuesday. They just learn the different ways of, you know, the, the clean ways of doing it. And instead of beef, you do lean Turkey. You know, it's like, it's so, it's the, it's very, very simple. But again, think of these people that don't know how to do any of this. They just need a little bit of guidance. And so when we designed quarter force, we wanted to make sure in terms of the workouts and the food plan and the eat as we call the eating plan, it was easy, simple, effective. That's what it was all about. So that's why there's no equipment. You just get the base kit and you just go. That's all you got to do. Um, couple more questions. Um, just one more about the nutrition. You're saying yep. I know not to compare it to 21 Day Fix, but that's a baseline for a lot of our coaches. You know, like that's where the, a lot of them have started or are starting. Um, mm -hmm. So when you're saying portion control, are they still using those same containers? Yeah, so it definitely, so the, the, look, every program that's come out since the portion control system was introduced follows that system, right? Okay. It's a great system to use. So um, I'm I was, I meant comparison as in like the food and the, cal the caloric intake and things like that. In terms of, no, look, core to force, and yeah, thank you for asking that, so I'll be clear on it. Core to force eating plan does follow the portion fix system. They call the same colors, yellows are carbs. That's the only one that I can remember because that's the only one I really care about, right? Because uh, they're carbs. Uh, and there's some protein in there somewhere. Purple's protein? No. Some okay. green protein. There we go. <laughs> See, I'm getting it. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah. So we use that. And it, but in the eating plan, so people see that they see the colors. So that, again, obviously makes it easy for people to associate the, the different food groups, the colors. But then there's also, you know, the list in the back of the, the eating plan that show people what that means. So it's like one cup of berries equals this. So it's not using, we don't use the containers in the base kit because um, that's just one more thing that, that this, we're not going to, that's just one more piece of equipment to throw at a newbie. You know, we will use the stuff that they already have in their kitchen so then they can see what it means uh, with what they already have. I hope I answered that. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Um, certification. Yes. Win. <laughs> 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 that's all I can tell. That's all, um, we tell. that's all I can tell you. So yeah, be, be, uh, Court of Force Live, uh, we are working on that, and it will be it will come out in 2017. So happy New Year to you guys. Yay. At some point next year. I don't know. That question was on our team page. I don't. Was there a specific? No, just if when the certification. Okay. Uh, it will be next year. Some at some time between January and December of next year. Okay. Um, uh, going back to who it's for, we missed. Um, is this is this a um, program that somebody like post, um, you know, childbirth or post surgery could have success with because of the modification um, with Jessica, like eliminating impact? I'm assuming is what she's doing, or well, no. So that the great question, you know, definitely that question is asked on every single call I've been doing. So, you know, there's a couple different facets to that one. Um, obviously in terms of injuries, if anybody, you know, people are like, well, I have a, I have a hip issue. Um, can I do this program? Like, well, number one, go find out what your issue is. Like find out what's wrong with you before you start doing something. Um, and people say, like, I have sore knees. Well, find out why they're sore. So first things first, always get the clearance from your doctor, right? That's number one. And, and not just like ask your doctor, hey, can I exercise? If you have a specific issue, you need to tell your doctor, hey, I want to, what are the types of exercise I should be doing? Uh, you know, lower back, weakness, things like that. This is a great program for it because it's going to strengthen up your core. Um, but you should get the, obviously you should get the clearance first. Same thing with, uh, in terms of pregnancy, uh, Pre, uh, pregnancy and uh, before and after, I guess I could say the easiest way of saying it. Obviously, I don't have a lot of experience with pregnancy. <laughs> uh, still learned a lot, though, in Jericho's pregnancy. That was for sure. So, you know, we worked uh, every single day while she was pregnant and then after Bex was born. So I know more than uh, a guy that doesn't have any kids probably should. Anyway, so, but yes, Court of Force is actually great for that, for, you know, for, uh, in terms of, again, those types of movements and strengthening exercises and core strengthening exercises when you're pregnant, you should be doing, right? So, and there's not a lot of movements in the program where you're laying down, you're not in the supine or prone position. So that's great. Um, and then in post-pregnancy, 
it really comes down to when you're ready, when your body's ready, when your doctor says your body's ready, and uh, if you need to modify anything, you know, we have people have asked about diastasis and things like that. It just always comes back to your doctor first, and then um, you know, once they they give you the okay, then you can go. In terms of impact, though, so the modification. I want to speak to that for a second. In terms of the modifier, so if you guys look at the sneak peek, and I think uh, Ashley Norris just typed this about knee issues, and she said it was very friendly on the knees. This is really cool. This is one of my favorite things about this program. Um, I've had a knee surgery myself years ago uh, from uh, you know not stretching. I had to get my plica tendon removed. I have two herniated discs in my back from when I was younger and did CrossFit don't do CrossFit, uh, and decided, hey, I want to see how much weight I can lift over my head. And pop, there go my discs. So, um, and they're still there. I never had surgery or anything like that because I was like, back surgery scares the crap out of me. I'll never, I don't want to do it. So I have to have a strong core, and I have to stretch. Otherwise, I will have to get surgery. So this was something that was, we were very cognizant of, and Jericho, she's popped a calf before. She's torn really? her calf muscle. Oh. Yeah, oh. so we've, you know, we've had our share of fitness industries, uh, injuries over the years. So when we were doing this, we wanted to make sure that this was not something that is going to, like, make us hobble around because, like, look, we're doing eight cities in three days at the end of the month, and we're doing a workout in every single one. Like, we have to make sure that we can physically do these types of workouts, and, and it's not going to hurt us. And it's the same thing for everybody else. And, like, we're fit. So we got to take it to the other extreme side of people who have never worked out before and not make them just say, okay, great. Give me 84 tuck jumps and 82 burpees and good luck. So the great, and so the great thing about the mixed martial art world of fitness training and what you guys do and what you guys will do in court of force is it is actually minimal impact on your joints and tendons. That's because that's huge, right? you you need those things to last you, muscles repair over time, joints and tendons, not so much. So we wanna save those suckers, right? And we need to save the ligaments so you don't have to go get surgery. Um, so as you guys saw, in terms of full body rotation, minimal impact, and with the modifications, obviously there are um, modifications, like you guys saw the ground to fighter stance, the sneak peek, well, of course. We have modifications in when it's necessary for someone to, if they have to physically modify. But what's also great about it is like the, the modification for the switch knee is the simple slow breakdown of the move. So people who are having trouble getting some of these moves and you guys are gonna see other stuff besides the switch knee, you're gonna see switch kicks, you're gonna see um, you know some other cool stuff for the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu world and wrestling and grappling, things like that. We say look to Jessica as the modifier if you're having trouble getting the movement down. And you'll see that you look over there and she's just doing the move slower and that's what, that's what helps you break it down. So that actually helps your form and technique. So it's not all about the impact, it's about um, doing it correctly and that's gonna make it most effective. I have really long answers to your questions, guys, sorry. No, it's good, <laughs> it's really good. As opposed to just saying yes. <laughs> um, I was going to say something about the, um, you know, the pregnant pregnancy audience is you mentioned it's a great core workout, you know, just standing up and even I'm not a mixed martial martial arts technical person, but the punches and stuff you do emphasizing that breathing yep. helps to engage that core anyway. And that's, that's great for a pregnant woman. And like you said earlier, she can take down her, um, you know, intensity level. I mean, a pregnant woman knows how far she can move this way. It's not very far. <laughs> I, I, I would think, I was going to say, I think you have like a speed bump stopping you. There's kind of something in your way. It's called a person. Um, but you know, yeah, there's, you still have to, you still have to do core strength and exercises, right? You know, it's, it's always yeah. uh, urged to do types of workouts and you guys, you look, you saw on the sneak peek, um, that, and this is what's really another aspect that was cool about when we were talking like modifications. There were six rounds and there were probably only what, uh, if I it, ballpark, uh, there's only three to five. I can't, I have to count them right now, but off the top of my head, there's only three to five moves in that workout that actually have to be modified, right? Physically modified for someone if they have any, uh, you know, any sort of physical issues or pregnancy or whatever it is. Everything else is all just rotation. It's just rotational movement working at your own pace. So it doesn't matter, and, and you know, let's talk in terms of weight, because we had this in our test group. Uh, it doesn't matter if, you know, we had Glenn who started, and he was over 300 pounds, and it didn't matter if someone started, and it was 150 pounds. 
everybody was still able to stand up and work at their own pace. So you're so, and they didn't have to modify anything until it actually came time for like the ground to fighter stance or the roll jumps or, you know, whatever that move is. So that just means that people, everybody's going to be able to work to work longer and get more out of it as opposed to something else that maybe is a little bit higher impact and is, um, is harder for people to do, especially if they're starting right off the bat. So that's why this program is great for it. That's why we say it's great for everybody. Yeah. Cool. What else? Hmm. Hmm. I love how all you, know, you guys, your job is to talk to people for a living and then I get on these calls and you know what they're like, I don't believe it. I don't believe you guys. Right. We don't have any questions in chat yet, but um, you said it's like authentic to MMX. Um, so our- MMA. 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 Sorry, yes. MMX <laughs> is from a different program. <laughs> Are you, um, are you like explaining the actual moves with the same terminology? Cause I know that a lot of our yoga or yogi people, um, didn't like some of the things that were being said in some of the programs that we have to offer. Mm -hmm. Um, so would this be something that I would be comfortable, you know, talking with people at an MMA school as a supplemental program and them not kind of like really laughing, laughing you out of the building. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so I say absolutely 100% yes. And, uh, and look, there's a couple, but there's a couple things to that. One, we, we stuck with authenticity as much as we physically could. Um, but you guys have to remember you're punching air. So there's only, it only, so authenticity only goes to this, right? Because you're punching air. Um, that's why, but that's why we don't have any gloves on and we don't wear wraps or anything like that because you guys are punching air and you're also coming off the, coming up and down off the floor. Like you need full wrist mobility and control. You don't need gloves when you're, when you're doing this type of stuff. Right. So, so don't wear them. Um, but, it, and you look silly too, if you do that and like put weighted gloves on your hands and like, I'll make fun of you, basically. If you post a picture, I'm going to make fun of you. I'm saying it right now. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's my, that's my, I'm just saying. Um, but when it comes to the authenticity of it, like, yes, the moves themselves, like the, the six moves that you guys did in Ashley Norris said their gloves are cute. No, stop it. Um, leave, leave them in the drawer. Pink gloves are adorable when you're doing eight by eight or grab back power. You're going to get me, you're going to, you're not, you're not going to let me stay focused on this, are you? Um, so, when you're doing uh, the combinations, every single combination in MMA speed, the six combinations you did there, every single actual mixed martial art combination that's in court of force, we worked with uh, some of our mentors in the, authentic, in the MMA world. Uh, one of them was uh, one of our Muay Thai uh, trainers. Guys, he's been a fighter for, that's all he's done. All he knows how to do is fight and he's trained us a couple times and he's phenomenal. We had him go through every single combination of these, of this program and said, hey, well, you know, yes or no. And if he said, no, this is not authentic, this is not what you would really do, we threw it out um, and made it, made sure that it was authentic. So, you know, we really wanted to stick with that terminology. Yes, is authentic as well. Um, you know, and, uh, but, you know, at the same time, you got to do, I got to do my little small caveat is the fact that it is still a fitness related program. So there might have to be a couple different modifications um, because you're not kicking anything. You're not punching anything. So we have to modify accordingly. So you don't put too much tension, uh, you know, into it. So like a switch roundhouse kick, for instance, is slightly modified than it would be if I had a bag in front of me stopping me. So there's a few modifications, but we did have, I did have one guy on call. It was last week. Um, uh, a lot of calls uh, moving together these days. Uh, actually, it, he has trained in MMA, is a fighter, does fight in the UFC, uh, more of the amateur leagues. But he did the sneak peek and he vouched for it. He's like, dude, this was awesome. I like this is something I could totally use when I'm traveling. So, um, so that was one person that vouched for it. Um, all the guys that we had, uh, most of the guys, excuse me, um, in our cast, so, uh, a lot of the team in our cast. We brought them in from our from our boxing gym, the gym that we use, and these are the, like Byron, the big tall guy, um, and Talia. Um, I'm not sure who was in the uh, the sneak peek. Talia was in there. We call her Kickboxing Barbie. Um, and you know, some of these guys, this is all they do too. So they're legit. Uh, so we brought you know we brought in our, our team uh, that is is legit fighters as well, and uh, so so we could make it authentic. Um, we want to respect your time and we're close to 930 right now. I do have one more question about footwear. 
What do you? I put a, I put an hour aside for you guys. So hey, I know it's late there, but you know I'm just I got Monday Night Football over there, so I'm good. <laughs> What, what do you suggest for footwear? Yeah, so in terms of footwear, uh, it really comes down to it, um, well, look, Javier asked in terms of uh, low impact, no, you know, plyo tuck jumps or jump knees. Uh, so that's correct. There aren't any type of really high intensity, high impact movements. Um, yeah, there's some jumps. Um, I know, I agree, Megan, because I hate. Tuck jumps. I hate burpees. I'm my knees. Yes, I hate burpees and I hate crunches. And you know what? Like in the live workouts, we Jericho and I, we do the burpees and stuff, and we always modify it, and we always we always add a flair to it because like regular burpees suck, and tuck jumps are hard. So you know, we wanted to bring other stuff to it. So you guys will see that there's very minimal impact, um, and you don't need like high impact to get a great workout. It's not necessary. It is absolutely not necessary. And you'll see when you do quarter force, promise you, you're going to get amazing results and your knees aren't going to hurt. Yay. Um, so with, uh, with that said, the footwear, it really comes down to, um, your personal preference, honestly. And you know, every, because you guys are gonna be working at home. So like, for instance, yeah, we had shoes on, uh, when we were doing the, the when we filmed, we were just, we were just, you know, tennis shoes, cross trainers, Reebok cross trainers on, um, when we, but we were on a rubber mat. So we were able to rotate and it really comes down to when you're doing these movements, you need to be able to effectively rotate and pivot on the balls of your feet, um, and not slide. So if you're on shag carpet, maybe get new carpet because it's shag. And then, um, but <laughs> completely go barefoot. It's up to you. No, I'm not dissing shag carpet. Shag carpet's great. Um, but it, uh, yeah, it's completely up to you. Just know that there is lat some lateral movement. There is some things that you're going to be moving side to side, front to back, you know, all the different planes of movement. Um, so just as long as you feel stable and secure and you're not going to slide and slip, um, then whatever you want. We have some people that we have some people that uh, go barefoot in the, um, the coaching test group right now. Shout out to Rachel. <laughs> yeah she's killing it man rachel yeah, she's she's on team is she on i don't think so oh she no on? she stole you last week yeah 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 it's uh and you know look yeah her and yeah hopefully you guys are looking at what she's doing and some of the rest of the, the coaches i know they're kind of sharing a little bit as they go but it's phenomenal guys and it really comes down to and i keep telling this on every single person's call is just Throw the scale out the damn window, please. Or just don't get on the scale. <laughs> just try it for 30. Don't get on the scale. Give yourself 30 days and don't even do it because you're, it's, it's just a number and you, like your weight fluctuates like crazy. And it's just watch what happens to your inches, though, and your body and the way your clothes fit. And then what happens when you take your clothes off? It's all about how you look naked, right? Come on. That's what it's all about, right? So, um, you know, just – I, this is my opinion. Just I, don't do it. And I and I posted a picture a while back of me uh, of, of of a scale weight that looked like it looked. Um, it was first thing in the morning, right before I box, and then what looked like right after. It was a fluctuation of three pounds, and it's that's just one workout, and it fluctuates so much, you guys. And everyone knows this. I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but like seriously, we all get caught up on numbers. I even do sometimes. I'm like, oh my god, I gave like last weekend. I had a really good weekend. And uh, I got on the scale on Monday, and it said 196 pounds. I'm like, what? And then, but two days later, it said 189. Like, but that was a lot of water weight and water retention because I had a lot of cheeseburgers and pizza. You know, like so, it just just break it already, man. Sucks. Yeah, I know some people like to closely watch it at the beginning to make sure they're on the right nutrition column or whatever that may be. Um, what's the way around that? Well, it just, but it, it, and you guys will see when you get the eating plan because it's not, look, I'm telling you, it, you're not, if you go by just what the scale says with this program, chances are you're going to be slightly disappointed, honestly, because it's not about that. Like I said at the beginning, it's a total body transformation program. You are going, and we do, we take you through the full gambit. It's not just mixed martial arts uh, of standing up and punching and kicking the whole entire 30 days. And, and you guys haven't seen the rest of the workouts, but there's 10 of them uh, in the whole 30 days. So you do total body training program, uh, a workout of strength training and endurance where we use your body weight against you in ways you never thought possible in, in the MMA world. And there's plyometric training from the MMA world, which is relatively low impact, but again, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, like you're just, you're 
shrinking and you're stabilizing and you're just shredding out your, your body in a way that is, um, you know, you're doing stuff you've never done before. So your body's going to reward you by transforming in a way it never has before. So, you know, that's what we're seeing the, the test groups right now. And that's why I say throw the scale out and just, you can still do it. You can still follow the eating plan really, uh, I think without, uh, you know, you get your beginning weight if you need for the formulas just to kind of figure out a baseline and then just go from there and see how you feel. Um, somebody asked about an app. I think. Uh, do you know if there's going to be an app that goes along with the program like that for the programs? Maybe. Cool <laughs> idea. Somebody else asked me that a while back. Um, do they have apps for anything just, other than the 21 day fix? I don't I don't know um, that answer, but I, you know, maybe if, if you know if we sell any quarter force, then maybe they will. <laughs> it hasn't, you know, it hasn't really sold anything yet, so I think we have to sell some stuff before they'll, uh, you know, we'll, they'll put more money into it. <laughs> we'll make sure that happens. Oh, thank, thank, you. That thank you very much. Yeah, I, can pay, I can pay my rent. Yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, you know, there's a lot. Hopefully, there's a lot more things on the horizon for the program. You know, we're just, uh, I, I think it's just we'll see what happens, you know, but luckily the, the first sneak peek was successful. We broke all kinds of records with that. So the excitement seems to be legit and genuine. Um, you know, we've got the next sneak peek coming up a week from today on Monday, the 24th. So anybody that missed that, um, you can do it again. And then you may or may not have seen the announcement we announced today that, uh, for every stream of the workouts, uh, we're going to donate 10 bucks to, um, big brothers, big sisters of America. Uh, all the way up to we'll see to minimum one hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand max. So, um, and if we get, if we can even get half of the streams that we got on the first sneak peek, then we'll easily hit the two hundred fifty thousand. So that's gonna be great. So it's a great, great company, great pro, uh, you know, great organization. Big brothers, big sisters. I'm a big brother, and uh, we brought them in this last weekend. And uh, Jericho and I, we taught a bunch of the the bigs and the littles a quarter force workout. They loved it. They had a great time. So. Uh, you know, it's really cool. We're using the, the hashtag be a positive force because that's what, you know, this program is all about. Awesome. Yeah. Really cool. That'll be fun. <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's see. The, yeah. So the sneak peek on the on Monday will be, it will be MMA speed again, be the same video. So you guys will be able to kick its butt because you should be already familiar with it, but watch, learn it and work it again. I guarantee you'll get something out of it that you didn't get before. Um, specific time for the sneak peek, 24 hours, I believe, is the, the norm for that. So it comes up like Sunday night, midnight, and then stays on until Monday night, midnight, I believe. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, and then the workouts, yeah, workouts range anywhere between 25 uh, up to a little over 45 minutes. It depends. The workout calendar, as you progress, we actually stack some workouts together. So like if you do a 25 minute workout, but you're a couple of weeks into it, then we have what we call little stack challenges. So one of them might be like a five minute core challenge or something like that. Don't want to give all the surprises away. <laughs> cool. Well, I don't have anything else. Carrie. I'm good. That was awesome. I have so much information. Yeah, I know. That was good. Most of it's true too. I'm not going <laughs> to Although I bet we do have a lot of CrossFitters that are about to jump you right now. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. Hey, look, I did. Let me explain myself because this was you know, for the people who do CrossFit now, CrossFit has completely evolved and changed over the years. And thanks to Reebok and, and uh, you know, bringing more spotlight to it has definitely evolved and morphed into a much safer program. Uh, and they've taken a lot of stuff out. Not saying, do I still support it? It, it, look, it's still some really much more high impact stuff, but I did it. You know, I was doing this. I'm 34. Hours, so I was doing this when I was 25. So nine years ago when pretty much no one knew about CrossFit, it was still pretty new. And just did a little box. It was in a little box in Olympia, Washington. And you're just throwing weights around. So, um, and it just, look, it just goes to show you it actually doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of program CrossFit. I'll give you crap. What weight ro workout it is. You do it wrong. You're going to hurt yourself. Um, so there you go. There's my explanation with it, but you know, watching people still do CrossFit. I mean, like I still, I watch the CrossFit games. Everybody's like all wrapped up and it's like, they gotta be dying after that, man. It's crazy. So I just like, I just know that at 34, 
everything that I do now in terms of my workouts, I usually work out at least twice a day. I get my, I love to, so I still get my boxing in and then I go to the gym and lift my weights. Um, I have never felt with two herniated discs in my back. I have never felt less sore, less hurty. Like now just, and I'm, I'm no smoke here, guys. My joints and tendons feel great. And my elbow, my elbows used to hurt all the time. My knees used to hurt all the time just because of all the different stuff I was doing. And now I just wake up and my, my biceps are sore because I did curls yesterday. Like that's the good sore, right? Like that's the sore you want. You want your muscles to be sore, not your joints and tendons and ligaments and all the, all that stuff that doesn't heal. <laughs> so, um, so to clarify. It's quarter force workouts. I promise, and this is quarter force workouts. I do quarter force workouts, so that's what this is. Okay, so to clarify, you won't be the trainer for the next CrossFit program that we are. Uh, yeah, highly likely not. <laughs> <laughs> and if it is, I will be. Trust me, you'll be doing. You won't be doing. Uh, you know, clean and jerks over your head like that, um, especially with more weight than you weigh. <laughs> Just crazy stuff. Yeah. But it's fun to watch. I like watching it. Yeah. Hey, look, you know what? We're moving and they're fit. If we can get more people moving some some form or fashion, I'm happy. Yeah, I would have to say that's probably the fittest sport on the planet. <laughs> I'm not, I can't do any of that stuff. They're way fitter than me. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Your back won't like it. No, I will be in back surgery stat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, anybody going to leadership this week? Ooh. Anybody? Bueller? Cool. So see a couple of you guys there. We're leaving uh, Jericho will be down on Wednesday. Quarter Force Live Workouts. You guys will get the first base kits. Quarter Force, we autographed them. You have a chance to get them. Um, took us a while to autograph 400 of them, but we did. We sat in the room. Oh, my gosh. So Quarter awesome. Force Apparel is also going to be unveiled. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Trust. It's, <laughs> insane. Oh, it's insane. So this, it's very much Jericho's of my style, so we're very, very excited about that. For everybody else, uh, let's see. At the end of the month for the Super Saturday weekend, we are hitting eight cities in three days. Um, so if you guys are in any, any of those eight cities, and uh, I, off the top of my head, I can't remember all of them, but I know, um, let's see, I think, hold on, I'll find it on my, mess, my Facebook here. I pinned it to the top of my fan page because I can never remember. Uh, but they are, hold on, wait for it. Uh, Birmingham, Orlando, New York, Chicago, Indianapolis, Dallas, Portland, San Diego. So, uh, and we're going to do a quarter force workout every single one. Uh, we're going to Philly next month, um, towards the end of November and we're here for you guys. So seriously, honestly, that's why I'm sitting here right now. And any time you guys have questions, uh, you know, and, and Megan, everybody, you guys are awesome and we love you and just everything that you guys are doing. So, and carry you too. And, uh, you know, everybody just keep working on it. And if you need something, there's my phone. You can message me. <laughs> no. It may be a little while until I get back to you because the messages are filling up kind of quick. But I answer every single one. I promise I do. Well, we really appreciate you doing this for us. And you guys, you probably don't know this, or maybe you do, because I think you do have a lot of stalkers. <laughs> but um, Joel is in honeymoon stage right now he just got married i'm over it it's been a month i'm good did you guys go on a honeymoon <laughs> uh yeah well we did we did so the we did a destination wedding uh um, in and then it was uh and then we just then we got married on sun actually tomorrow is a month uh who i made it a month cool i haven't gotten in trouble yet. <laughs> um, so we did it yeah we got married and then uh we stayed there for the whole a week uh, after that so we just knocked it all out at one time it was awesome I tell you, what, if anybody's going to get married, do that. Do the destination way and just stay there and just make everybody else leave. That was phenomenal. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we had a great time. And now just uh, right back to work, man. Yeah. But good thing. Yeah, that's awesome. I felt bad. I, I messaged you on your way to your wedding to ask you to do this call. <laughs> but you did it. And I really appreciate it. You know, yeah. it's it, – Look, we're, we're all on our phones all the time anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. But awesome. thank you but thank you guys for having me on. And if you're not following us, uh, Joel Freeman Fitness on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and you got Jericho McMatthews on her channels. And, um, yeah, we're here for you guys. And anything you need to, to help blow Court of Force up and answer questions and get it out there, we, we're here. Thanks. We're pumped. Thank you again. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Have a good night.